Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again for your afternoon blog for July 8, 2014. Tuesday, it's around 3.35 in Berwick in Massachusetts. Some news to report. Germany's going to face off against Brazil today in the World Cup at 4 p.m. in the semifinal round on ESPN, Univision, and the CBC in Canada. Also, the Boston Bruins have signed a letter of intent to move their training camp facilities from Wilmington, Massachusetts to the Austin Brighton area of Boston where, where a new state-of-the-art training facility is going to be built right near New Balance building and where Entercom Boston is located. This has been rumored for a few years now because many of the Bruins players live in the city of Boston or a nearby town like Somerville or Cambridge and and Revere so they don't they don't want to travel out to Wilmington anymore. It's sad though to see them not practice in Wilmington anymore but that's it's a business and I wanted to be close by where the players could get be easily accessible to train and also the city of Cleveland, Ohio has been tapped to host a Republican National Convention in 2016. Good for the city of Cleveland. And on to my next subject is about is Louis Tion, a baseball Hall of Famer. Louis Tion played 19 seasons in the big leagues from 1964 to 1972. He was with the Indians, Twins, Red Sox. Yankees, Pirates, and Angels. He compiled a 229 win to 172 losses. He had a 3.30 ERA. He had 2,416 strikeouts. He pitched 187 complete late games, and he shut out. He had 49 shutouts. The biggest knack for Luis Tion's Hall of Fame candidacy. He only made three All Star teams. He never was ranked in the too much in the in the top focus for Cy Young awards. And also, he wasn't you know really that dominant with like a high ERA. But there's a lot of pitchers who have similar numbers, like Luis Tion in the Hall who are Hall of Famers like Catfish Hunter and. Don Drysdale, to name a few. And when Louis Tiant was on the Hall of Fame ballot starting in 1998 through 2002, he didn't get too much support by the writers. He made, he, I think he peaked out around 24, 25%, which is less than, less than 75 needed to get voted into the Hall of Fame. He dropped out of the ba ballot in 2002 when he, there's a, and, Ever since he's been nominated for the Veterans Committee, but they haven't put him in yet. And it's going to be very tough to get Louis Tion in the Hall of Fame. I think he's a Hall of Fame, in my humble opinion. He's one of the best pitchers in Red Sox history. And he's also known as El Tiante. And he, I think he has something at Fenway Park where they sell Cuban sandwiches with his name on it. And also, he's popular all around town. I met him last year at the Lincoln Lookers on Treble Cove Plaza in Bellwick, Massachusetts. He signed a book with me, a book with his photo on it, and he signed it. That was pretty good of him, and hopefully he gets into the Hall of Fame, but it's going to be very tough. I don't know when the next time he's eligible for the Veterans Committee, maybe in 2016 or so, but there's going to be a lot of big candidates that year to get in the Hall of Fame for the Veterans Committee, so he might have to wait a while. I just hope he's alive when he finally gets into the Hall of Fame because I think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, that's about it for right now. I'll be, be, be back later on tonight with the third and final video blog of the night. And if there's any news that breaks that was very important news, I will break it to you. And if any shout outs, PM me and instant message me and I'll be happy to shout out for you, okay? This is Rich signing off for right now. Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.